Hello my friends, Johnny M is in the house with another video on Farming Simulator 19. So I think by now for many of you should uh, be without a doubt that this season probably is long due to be finished because there are probably some other great maps. One of us 19 by now and probably more mods and more um, things I guess awaits us in the future so yes I decided <coughs> to wrap up this season and soon start another one but before I go there were well a lot of things that I, I probably uh, wanted to uh, uh, test or uh, experience I should say but at least two of them I decided to to do before wrapping up the season so the first one is, I guess a hint for you should be the fact that if you look at the tier of my ideal 90 combine, you will see tier 10. So that's it. Uh, if you remember previously, my tier was four and I have two combines, but I wanted to have an immense combine, you know, with 10 times the capacity of uh, the normal uh, ideal 90 which is already uh, gigantic at 17,000 uh, uh, liters so yeah I wanted to experience having a combine of tier 10 well two of them and for that I had to invest about let me think so about 600,000 for one tier times six and then times two yeah that's a lot a lot of money of course i had to borrow most of it uh yeah but at least i'll get to experience that so um i have my giant field which was born by merging two uh, separate fields which now i will uh, recede with uh, both both of my uh, biggest seeders um yeah, the seed hawk, which uh, is is gigantic by itself, but also it's I think tier three. So and my uh, usual Amazon Condor fifteen thousand, this one. So uh, I hope it won't be uh, too long until all this field is finished. Although I must say it's quite gigantic. Um, not the biggest field you can you can make on this map uh, by merging multiple fields and yeah as I said I was hoping that I will be playing more and eventually uh, being able to afford to buy all the fields on this map but and I probably if I would play it for myself I would have done it but yeah I didn't want to uh, bother you watching through a lot of repetitive episodes ahead okay so uh, in the meantime I'm uh, loading some of the hay which I'm hoping that uh, uh, on my next map it's not gonna be a problem because you know here it's a problem you can only make hay effectively in one direction and I hope in my, on my future map this won't be the case. So uh, yeah, because in theory you could feed your cows only with hay if you don't mind 75% uh, efficiency, which uh, I think in FS17 wasn't the case. In FS17 if you were feeding just hay it was far less than 75% efficiency. Mm, so yeah. If I'm not mistaken, in this uh, season I was only feeding my cows with mixed ration. Uh, you know, as always, I guess. But yeah, now uh, I think it's it's an option. If if making hay, uh, it's a lot faster than making silage and then uh, uh, mixing it with hay and with some straw into a mixer and upgrading your mixer as the default one. Uh, is quite uh, small uh, then yeah if you, if you don't want to bother with this you can of course uh, feed your cows with hay which I think I'm gonna do 
in the next episode. Oh yeah, I said uh, two things I wanted to, to do before I go, but it's actually three things. Because yeah, the first thing is experience tier 10 combines. The second one would be to finally uh, use a slurry spreader, which some of my viewers have requested that uh, I use. So here I do it. Uh, yeah, and I discovered that this is actually a new uh, slurry sprayer in FS19 which is even bigger than the previous uh, biggest slurry spreader from FS17 but unlike that one it comes in two pieces so it comes in the form of um, uh, you know a, a trailer a tanker trailer and uh, you know this uh, the spreader itself and um, yeah uh, let's see what was the um, a tier. Yeah, I, I bought it and I upgraded it uh, right away to tier 5. Yeah, so that's why it has this uh, ginormous uh, capacity. And on top of that, it also is a little bit wider than the previous uh, biggest that I was talking about. So the first... Um, my first use for it is on my grass field and then uh, I guess I'm gonna use it on my uh, biggest field which I will harvest uh, soon. Yeah, and I forgot to mention, um, in order to experience my tier 10 combines I decided, uh, well I had to choose one, um, one crop and I actually looked at the prices and it turned out that on average the most expensive uh, grain is soybeans. It also happens to be one of the uh, you know, lowest uh, yield crop, which probably is great because combined with the tier 10 of the combines, this means that we will be able to harvest the entire field quite fast. So uh, yeah, and I was looking for the highest price because I actually decided to sell the soybeans. A thing that I never done and I and I usually never do since since uh, Marhu, I think the original author of the pigs mod, uh, you know, introduced this mod to FS13, if I'm not mistaken, uh, or even 11. Since then, I never sell my crops. I usually do crops that I feed to my animals. So yeah, but this time, uh, because normally I don't need as much uh, soybeans, so yeah, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, know what to do with it. So that's why I decided to sell it. Okay, so as I was saying. Uh, the next use for my uh, slur spreader would be uh, this field that I uh, just uh, seeded with uh, with uh, soybeans. Yeah, and one thing I discovered. Um, unlike uh, fertilizer, being it liquid or solid, you can only apply it after, you know, you grow at least one state of your crop. So you have to grow one state and then apply the fertilizer. But unlike those, the slurry can be applied right away. Which is nice to know, I didn't know actually initially, but I discovered in this episode. And then again, to not bother you, I cut the piece where I uh, fertilized the entire field. And I fast forward for a couple of days and voila, we have a fully grown field. So I already set my two combines to harvest the field. In the meantime, just to get rid of uh, all our excess pigs. And when I say excess, I mean like <laughs> uh, 1200 of them as usual. This is uh, one full load, one new full load with uh, tier 30 
of my truck and animal trailer. So yeah, it's it's quite impressive. Um, at least some, well, at least two of my uh, equipment pieces are now tier 30. And it looks like I have my first full uh, tanker of bunker, I should say, of my combine. And look at it. It's 172,000 liters in one bunker load. Isn't this impressive? I think it is. So, yeah. Um, usually the, the reason I wasn't selling my, my crop directly is because it, it doesn't uh, give, you know, as much output as you get when feeding it to animals and then selling the animals. But considering this field is so big and the price of, so of soybeans being the highest among uh, grains, I think I'm gonna make a lot of money on this field just by selling the crop, which is amazing, I, I should say, especially when, you know, I'm playing on the highest difficulty which makes, well, it's actually ho called hard difficulty, um, which makes the prices quite low. I'm hoping to sell my soybeans at about, well, at least above 800 uh, euros uh, a piece. Uh, a piece, that's, that means, that means uh, 1000 kilos. So I think at least some of you were wondering if I said that I intend to finish this season, then why on earth am I processing the field all over again? Why am I cultivating it and why am I spreading, um, how is it called, lime on it? Well, the reason is... Uh, the fact that I wanted to experience one more thing before I finish this uh, season and that is actually harvesting some cotton with a, a high uh, tier combine because uh, in this season I actually never harvested cotton uh, the only the only uh, time that I uh, I harvested cotton was in my previous uh, short season which actually was more like a test uh, season and I experienced it on you know um, during a mission so I myself never owned a cotton combine so yeah I decided to, to do it and again since the game at least the default game doesn't have a use for cotton um, the only the use of it is just to to sell it directly so I think you noticed that I actually found a price over just a little bit over 900 per, per, per ton or per thousand liters so uh, yeah which is great because I was hoping for at least 800 the price but I found 900 so yeah, one load gave us uh, 0.9 millions, which is great, because uh, previously we were able to achieve these payouts only by selling animals. Now we can, uh, we are able to do it just by selling crops. I think it's it's amazing, and it's only only possible because of my uh, tier system. Because otherwise, with standard equipment, yeah, you you have nearly this uh, these uh, payouts. And yes, I, I I mentioned if this game would have more uh, more you know managing aspects to it. 
if you are able to have like something like a farm manager here uh, where you could buy lots of equipment and then use <coughs> lots of um, AI helpers <coughs> to do things in parallel then yeah there would be a path of uh, you know upgrading and evolving uh, past uh, you know past high-end uh, vehicles but unfortunately the game doesn't have this uh, managing aspect uh, of it so that's why I'm I'm actually doing my tiering system it, it allows me to to play beyond you know the normal limits of the game even though we're playing at the hard difficulty it it would be even more annoying <laughs> to play at uh, easy difficulty because uh, you know in less than 10 episodes we would have no other things to do we would uh, have uh, you know all the map uh, and all the high-end uh, equipment So as it goes lately, I'm not harvesting myself the field, I'm using helpers, I'm just filming, you know, with the eyes of the helper. Of course I like to drive the combine by myself from time to time, and I do it, but I guess at this point in my gameplay, the goal was to, you know, experience harvesting uh, this giant field with two tier 10 combines and then go to the cotton harvesting and then, uh, you know, call, call it a day for this season. So, uh, considering that the combine headers for cotton are actually quite narrow, I think they're something like 5 meters wide, I figure out that in order to harvest the entire merged field would take too long and would actually not fit in any single episode. That's why I decided to only um, plant about 30% of the field and and we'll see if it's gonna be too, too little we can uh, we can then har um, plant and harvest the entire field but I think it's gonna be enough because even 30% of the field uh, is gonna give us plenty of, uh, of uh, harvest and plenty of gameplay so yeah, um, as I said, I'm not gonna plan this time the entire field with cotton. And I'm planning, of course, to buy two combines, two cotton combines, and to make them, you know, tier 10 right, right away. Again, this would mean that we'll have to borrow some money, but if I have no other option, I will do it. I'll try to not abuse the loan system in my next season. Well, not abuse it as much as I did this time. But we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so now I have the second full load of... Um, of my tipper trailer and I should mention that my tipper trailer is tier 17 starting this episode that's why its capacity is uh, 1020 well 1 million 20 thousand liters actually and 
and why exactly I chose to go just up to this tier it's because tier 17 allows us uh, three three full loads for uh, for my two combines so yeah I can unload my two combines three times before my uh, tipper trailer is full so, so that's why I stopped at tier 17 because I figure out there is no point in going higher than that so again if I was playing just for myself I could have continued to play many many more hours on this map until I conquer it all and maybe uh, go higher in tiers and buy more equipment in parallel but since I'm sharing it with you I uh, try <laughs> if I can to diversify my gameplay but sorry if uh, at times it becomes repetitive it's inevitably if you choose like me to share you know almost almost about 99% of your uh, gameplay time uh, unlike other youtubers which choose to uh, share just uh, some of their gameplay like uh, you know episodes of their gameplay I choose to share uh, everything with you with small exceptions sometimes when I feel that it's too boring and I cut some pieces of uh, fast forwarding for example so yeah it looks like the, this episode um, it will not fit too hard to finish harvesting uh, all the soybeans I will do it next time and then also next time I will harvest uh, the cotton with uh, as I promised two tier 10 cotton combines and we'll call it a day so at this point thank you guys all again for watching this episode thank you for liking it if you do and i hope to see you all next time not only in the next episode but also in my next season bye bye